problem is about budget variances. In our first video, we'll talk specifically about direct material and direct labor. And in the second video, we'll talk specifically about the factory overhead. The key thing to keep in mind is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to define the variance based upon quantity and price. The way I do this is I set up three columns. The first column that's on the left is the actual cost. The middle column, and this works for both direct material and direct labor, is the actual hours or the actual quantity times the standard price. And then on the right side is we have the equivalent units, which is our standard price times our actual quantity. So let's look at this problem and see some of the variables that we have. So what we see in direct materials is a standard price, meaning that we're going to use the yards of material at $1.6 per yard. We're going to use for each item 1.25 yards, thus our standard cost is $2. And our direct labor is the direct labor hours cost is $12 per hour. We're expecting you to use a quarter hour per unit, therefore our standard cost is $3 per unit. Now let's look at the narrative that concerns us related to the variables of direct labor and direct materials. The company purchased and used 115,000 yards of fabric. Now that's very important. Some of the harder problems you may actually see beginning and ending inventory, but in this case we have no beginning and ending in inventory. We purchased and we used 115,000 yards of fabric. We used this based upon $1.45 per yard, so there we're able to calculate our actual cost. The direct payroll was $248,050. That's going to be our actual cost there. And then the actual rate is $12.10 per hour. So based upon that, we're going to find the actual number of hours that we used. Now this is the hard part in terms of determining the equivalent units or for the actual production. So we talk about annual production means nothing. What we're looking for is what's actually taking place in November. So you notice that the budget was based upon 80,000 shirts, but the reality is that we actually produced 82,000 shirts. So the idea is that in our actual production, we're using the 82,000 units or 82,000 shirts. So let's look at our labor first. So the equivalent units for our labor is going to be the actual quantity, which is 82,000 units, times the $3 per unit, which is our standard costing. So this is simply going to be $3 times the actual quantity, which is $82,000, which is $246,000. Now, the actual cost is actually given, and it is $248,050. We have that there, $248,050, and that's what we see right here, $248,050. So we have that information. What we want to have in our next piece is the actual hours times our standard price per hour. So our standard price per hour is $12. The actual number of hours, we're going to have to calculate that. And we calculate that by taking our $248,000. $248,050 divided by the actual labor rate, which is 1210. So what we have here is the 248 divided by $12.10. And what we have is we have the actual hours, it's not dollars, but it's actual hours of $20,500. We then multiply this by our standard rate and our standard price is $12 per hour. And what we have here is $246,000, which is the exact same thing as our equivalent units. So basically what we're saying is that there is no budget variance based upon quantity. We used what we expected to use. We do have a price variance. The price variance is what we actually used was $248,050. What we were expected to use 
based upon the uh, our standard pricing is twelve dollars so in fact we have a negative variance here and the negative variance is our 248.50 minus our 246 and basically what that means is the fact that we have a negative variance or an unfavorable variance because we were expecting to pay $12 per unit when in fact we paid $12.10 per unit. Let's look at our materials. So our materials on the right side here is, let's do this one first, is our materials is $2 per unit and we're going to multiply this by the actual number of units that we manufactured which is 82,000. $164,000. In terms of the actual cost for our materials, and again we're not dealing with beginning and ending inventory, is what we have is we have 115,000 yards and the purchase price for these yards was $1.45. So our actual cost was $166,750. Now, the middle piece is going to be the actual quantity. So the actual quantity is $115,000 or 115,000 units. And we're going to multiply this by our standard cost per unit, which is $1.60. And we need to put an equal sign in front of this to make the equation work. And we have $184,000. Now, keep in mind that we paid $1.45 and we were expecting to pay $1.60. So we would expect clearly this item to be a favorable variance. And in fact, it is. It's 166 minus the 184 and this is going to be a favorable variance here. And in terms of quantity is what we have as a difference over here is 184 minus the 164 is we actually used more of this and this is an unfavorable variance. So in fact, what may have taken place is we may have said, let's use a cheaper material because it's cheaper when in fact, because it's cheaper, we actually used more of it. And in fact, our overall variance is actually negative in the sense that we actually paid $166,750 when in fact, we were expecting to only pay uh, 164. So this uh, total variance is unfavorable. Okay, now the one point that I will make is that in the calculations, is don't worry about negative numbers. Put everything in positive numbers and simply put favorable or unfavorable next to the number. So I hope this helps. Everybody have a great day. Thank